Today I have this quick flat lettering logo design tutorial for you all to follow. It's a quick and simple yet very neat design. What is up people, welcome back to Satori Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. Today we're going to be designing this very cool flat lettering logo design in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump right into it. You're going to want to choose quite a thick font for your lettering and I've chosen slant as my font in case you want to use it for your own design. So create the outlines of your letter for today's logo design tutorial and then open the Pathfinder window. We want to make sure the lettering is one solid shape, so unite it like so. Off to the side, use the rectangle tool to make a shape like I'm doing here, and then hold down the Alt Option key to duplicate the shape over and over. Unite these shapes together in the Pathfinder window, and then with it selected, take the Direct Selection tool. You should see these white icons appear if you have Illustrator CC. You can then edit the corners with these. Otherwise, go to Effect and then Round Corners. Still with the Direct Selection tool, drag the anchor points of the shape like I'm doing here and then you can edit the end so it's rounded off. You can hold down the shift key whilst dragging the handles to make sure they stay perfectly parallel. I'm going to apply a light blue tone to the splatter shade for today's flat lettering logo design tutorial and then duplicate it with the option key. With the new shape selected, make it a darker shade to the original. And then select both shapes and then rotate them by 45 degrees. Once you've done that, move the darker shape off to the side and then select the letter and then press Command or Control C to copy it. Place the lighter shape over the top of the letter and bring the letter to the front like so. Select both the shape and the letter and right or control click and then make a clipping mask. If you now press Command or Control F on your keyboard, you will paste the letter in place perfectly for your logo design. And then finally we need to send the letter to the back. Now take the darker shape and send it to the back. You want to place it a little offset to the lighter shape above. We're now going to add a drop shadow to the letter which will really set off the logo design effect. Make sure you take your time to type in the measurements of the drop shadow and experiment to see what looks best for your flat lettering logo design. We're now going to add a final touch to our flat lettering logo design by taking the rounded rectangle tool and making a few shapes like I'm doing here. Change the colour and then rotate them to match the direction of the splatter effect. You can now add these shapes in various colours over your design as you see fit. So play around and have some fun with it. As you can see on my final logo design, I've edited the style of the paint splatter effect 
and created two versions of my flat lettering logo. Which one do you think is a better logo design? If you enjoyed today's graphic design tutorial based around a flat lettering logo design, drop a like and a comment on the video. And of course, subscribe for weekly graphic design tutorials here at Satoru Graphics. Make sure you have a great weekend and I'm going to be back on Monday. There's no graphic design workflow tip today because I ran out of time. So until next time, design your future today. Peace.